Blended Learning by Boris McLaughlin, Module 1, EDTC 610, Spring Semester 2020. What is blended learning? Heather Stacker of Raise Your Hand, Texas says, it is when a brick and mortar school provides online lessons for students. It has three pedagogical benefits according to Staker. Personalized learning, making learn, make learning more accessible and controlling cost. A tale of learning, a blended learning. Sir Ken Robinson added the, added the following anecdote describing the benefit of blended learning. One teacher he knows recorded a video of herself, of herself explaining math theories and, the, and then she posted them onto the school's learning platform. Because of the learning platform is available to our students online, they can watch them when they're not in school. The blended classroom has been boring and it was basically used to record as a recorded warehouse for lectures, according to Gerber. I was introduced to the concept when my supervising administrator suggested I practice the flip classroom concept with my class in 2014. I like the idea and the theory, but I struggled getting students on board due to associated issues with the digital divide. Just to give you a little background, um, during that time, I taught at an all boys charter school in, ba in Baltimore City Public Schools um, called Bluford Drew Jemison STEM Academy. The irony of the name of the school is that we're a STEM school, but we have very little STEM. Um, Specifically, um, since we are a school in West Baltimore, the um, the best um, technology that we had were the were the cell phones that that the kids brought to school. Um, our computer labs were ill equipped. Um, in 2014, we had like our highest operating system was like Windows Seven, and it was outdated like four years by that time. Um, so, and of course they didn't have, students didn't have access, computer access at home, except on their cell phones and they weren't willing or weren't able to, to access the information for the flip classroom at home, which made things discouraging and disheartening to say the least. All right. So according to Garrison and Co Kanuka on Philippa Garrison's um, article, blended learning is as simple and is uh, blended learning as a simple and complex concept where at the simple level, blended learning is a thoughtful integration of classroom face-to-face -face learning experience with online learning experiences. Um, my opinion on that is it's a it's a fine line to to balance the two where you're not where you're integrating technology in the classroom but at the same time you don't want technology to take the place of your face-to-face -face learning and i do agree with um some of the points that gerber was making that that you don't want to give up too much of your authority as a teacher in the classroom but I think there is a way that integrating technology um, with online learning can help enhance your learning because it help you, it, it help create a different voice for things that you're talking about. Oh, and here's the anecdote that I was trying to continue earlier. My slides got mixed up, I apologize. All right, they're not required to complete, the, to complete a quick task after their video, or they are required. And she could pull up a report and tell her that tells her how well the students understood the theory. This means that she can plan her next lesson accordingly, making better use of her time in the classroom, according to Robinson. And just from personal experience, like it, it helped you scaffold your learning and, and things of that nature, because you, you're, you're gaining more information and data on your students as far as like 
what they what they know and what they don't know, and that and it really enhances us as a teacher as teachers. All right, differing point of views of blended learning. One pin one point of view advocates for blended learning because of its ability to balance the strengths and weaknesses of face-to-face -face learning and learning environments. Garrison and Nuka stated, blended learning is the thoughtful integration of classroom face-to-face -face learning experiences with online learning experiences. All right, so another point of view comes from Oliver and Trigwell that suggests a more useful idea provide a variation between face-to-face -face and online learning environments. They suggest students and teachers need to understand the difference, the differences inherited between the two environments. Um, and that, that comes with experience, in my opinion, where you, you just, it's, it's really trial and error as a, as a teacher, where you have to develop that sweet science of, like, make the art of the science of teaching in my opinion. So the, the long and short of it, that's basically my, my take on blended learning and my limited experience and from the limited research that I did. Hope you enjoy and I look forward to your comments.